As part of giving back to the community, the Rise and Shine Rwanda team recently visited a local hospital to provide food, milk, and sanitary products for some of their most vulnerable patients. We were greeted by a founder of a local NGO that helps deliver meals to vulnerable patients. Some of the hospital staff also came to welcome us and told us that they're grateful the media covers stories like these to help spread awareness of some of the challenges they face in hospitals. <laughs> The mutual healthcare system, also known as Mutual Portus, has improved access to healthcare for many Rwandans. However, for some of the poorest citizens in the country, the copay for medical care, ranging from 5 to 25 percent, proves difficult or even impossible for some. One Rwandan organization has stepped up to reach out to the vulnerable patients and help out as much as they can. Red Africa is not just uh, hand out things, it's also about uh, talking to the patients, to know their needs, talking with them, to re really create a connection. And I think when people come here and they create a connection with um, the patients, then they can go back to their homes and say, okay, uh, how can I do to help that specific patient? The NGO provides food for about 300 patients in two major hospitals in Kigali every single day. They also help pay medical bills, transportation, and other basic needs the patients may need in the hospital. Isabel says for the non-profit organization, they solely depend on volunteers to help, which sometimes can prove to be very challenging. For Solid Africa, one of the big challenges is that we all work voluntarily, so not having a paid staff uh, really make it everything slow. Uh, but otherwise, there's really no big challenges. You have to fund fund, but um, really people understand what we do. And I think when you come to the hospital, you see uh, the issues and nobody can go back without really uh, having an idea on how he can help. The Rise and Shine team were eager to help in handing out food, milk and porridge to the long queue of patients who for some was the only meal they'd received that day. One mother expressed her extreme gratitude towards the volunteers since coming to the hospital she had no idea how she was going to provide for her sick son. <laughs> Isabel says that her biggest hope is that more Rwandans will give back to their communities to help build a more solid, united community as Rwandans. I think really the real love is when you have somebody that you don't know and you don't expect anything in return. So, yeah, my message to Rwandans is just to step up. Uh, so you always have something to give to somebody else, uh, depending on the situation that you are in. Uh, yeah, so it's just to look around and really try to help uh, somebody else. The NGO hopes that in the near future, they can grow the number of patients they help from 300 to about 1,000 patients. They also have a project to build an industrial kitchen, which the district of Gasaba was generous enough to provide them with the land to build it. Alan Karakire, Rise and Shine, Rwanda.